Hi everybody, it's Kara, AKA The Principal Painter, and today I am coming at you with a Diamond Art Club sneak peek. We are not going into the painter's place for this one because it is big. It's big. So we are going to the dining room to unbox it because I want you to see the entire thing. Anybody get sad when DAC um, got out of stock for Chuck Pinson? They heard us crying. They are releasing another Chuck Pinson and I've got it for you. And as of this video, it may be up now. I'm not sure because I can't see it, but the picture isn't up yet. So you are getting a real sneak peek of this one. Let's head to the dining room and I'll show you what I got. See you at the table. the painter's dining room table. All right, this is a Chuck Pinson. It is a 93 by 70. Guys, there is so much going on in this picture. It's gonna be so fun. Uh, the title of the piece that I got is Almost Heaven by Chuck Pinson, one of my favorite landscape artists. I'm gonna hold this up. This picture is way too dark and way too detailed for you to see, but it does have the sticker on the box from the box and the square on the box, you can tell it is a square diamond painting and the blue striping. We have got a beautiful holographic box with all kinds of information. Also, in case you're wondering, and I checked this out, I normally don't check it out prior, but I did to this one. This one has three ABs and three fairy dust diamonds. Oh yeah, they gave us everything in this one, guys. Let me stop my yammering and let's get into it. All right, Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, it's a big one. Okay, here we go. All right, in your kit from Diamond Art Club, you do get a logbook sticker. Again, this picture is a little bit darker and, and very, very detailed, but this logbook sticker has the title, the artist, the dimensions, and the shape of the diamonds. You can put it in a logbook or on the side of your box if you choose to store your paintings that way. You get a tool kit. Let me do this first though. I'm gonna put the log book sticker up there. All of your paintings from Diamond Art Club come in a beautiful dust bag to keep gunk off of it. I am gonna roll this back really quick. Well, somewhat quickly. This is, I believe, uh, from the looks of it, it is a horizontal, not a vertical picture. And there is so much detail in this, guys. They had, had to make it. Um, this big in order to get all of this beautiful detail. It's just everything you love in a Chuck Pinson scene. Everything all together. I just love it. I'm going to let this hang out in my lap. Uh, these are poured glue canvases. They are tarpaulin canvases, which means they're self-flattening. They have a soft buttery back that all of us love and uh, they will flatten out on their own. I just roll them back for the sake of time. Again, this one has three ABs and three fairy dust diamonds, 64 colors. This is gonna be gorgeous. Okay, your toolkit. I just like to look at these toolkits to see what washi tape and what cover minder I got. These toolkits contain everything you need to diamond paint along with some what I call extra sussies. So, oh wow, okay, oh wait, I thought I got three multi-placers. I got two multi-placers and the stopper for the tray. So, in your kit, first off, I'm gonna tell you what all your kits will come with. They will come with a tray, if I can get the stopper in correctly. Hang on, guys, there we go. They will come with a tray, with a funnel and a stopper. They will come with two multi-placers, a seven and a four placer. These are the standard every time uh, you get the same size multi-placers. Multi-placers are for putting in your pen if you wanna place more than one diamond down. We'll get into, when we get into this kit, we'll see how much confetti versus color blocking we have. Uh, also, you get a container of Diamond Art Clubs, famous heart-shaped wax. This is what you dip your pen into to pick up your diamonds. There is plastic on the top and the bottom of these pads of wax. Wax, make sure you peel it back or you will get no wax in your pen. You get a bag of baggies, 
to store drills in and in square kits and square kits only. If you get a round kit, meaning the shape of the diamonds are round, you will not get tweezers. But in a square kit, you do get tweezers. They are pointy stabby. Keep the sheath on. Do not poke your eyeball out. All right, so those are the similarities. The differences in the kit. All kits come with a pen and a squishy, um, but the color will vary. Squishy, you slot, look at that. I didn't have to struggle at all with that squishy. Yay me. Um, squishy, you uh, slide on your pen for diamond paint and comfort. Um, kind of like grippies you put on a pencil so uh, your fingers don't hurt uh, because, you know, we diamond paint for long periods of time. Don't need that. You get a cover minder. These cover minders will vary. This is a macaron um, cover minders. There is a magnet on this cover minder. There is a bottom magnet. There will be a plastic covering on this diamond painting. When I show you, you will peel that plastic back, put this cute cover minder on the top of your diamond painting, slide the other magnet under, they magnetize together and hold your plastic back so it doesn't flippy floppy around. Your cover minder will differ from mine. Also, you do get washi tape uh, in every kit, but the pattern on the washi tape will differ. I really like this. It's a nice abstract geometric pattern, lots of colors. All right, so that is your tool kit. I'm gonna slide this up and stop yammering on. All right, rolled up in your canvas, you get this entire sheet. Uh, it is what I call an inventory sheet. I've always called it that, so I'm not gonna stop now. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Um, the whole sheet is a sticker. Uh, these uh, stickers are individual, so you can put them on your containers for kitting up. Uh, the first column in the pink tells you how many colors you're gonna have, which is 64. The center column, uh, shows you the symbols that you're going to match your drills up with to put down on your canvas. The third column are your DMC numbers. If the DMC numbers are under the number 150, it is an AB drill. I will explain what those are momentarily. You have three of them. You have 131, 135, and 141. Looks to be a yellow, a green, and a white. 141 is a popular AB with DAC. It's white and reflects all the colors. But DAC didn't stop there. No, they didn't. They added three fairy dust diamonds. I think the most I've ever unboxed in the DAC is two fairy dust diamonds. This bad boy has three of them. We have Z782, which looks to be a brown fairy dust. I've never seen a brown fairy dust diamond. I will look at that uh, and let you know what that is. We have Z3766, which looks to be blue, and a Z3855, which looks to be uh, kind of a dark cream color. Kara, what is a fairy dust diamond? Fairy dust diamonds, you will see, um, and I will uh, get you up as close and personal as possible. It looks like the tops of them, they've just sprinkled with a fine glitter like fairy dust. So we'll check those out. Uh, this also has the title, The Artist, Almost Heaven by Chuck Pinson. You can put your start and end date. There is a bigger image. All right, I'm giving you a little teaser. Again, this is really hard to see in smaller form because it has so much going on in this beautiful picture. Um, it has the diamond shape, which is square, the dimensions 93 by 70, uh, and the like. So that's a very handy thing to have. You have an information uh, booklet, a thank you from Angie, uh, the founder of Diamond Art Club. You've got uh, tips and tricks, what's included, all kinds of information in here. You've got QR codes that will take you to a video to show you how to diamond paint and to the VIP Facebook group. You want to join that group. They have all kinds of great information in there. You also have a coupon code. Thank you, 10. Take 10% off your next purchase from Diamond Art Club. Uh, for those of you that are new to Diamond Art Club, I always forget to say this. I am an affiliate with Diamond Art Club. If you want to use the code PAINTER10 for your very first purchase from Diamond Art Club, you do get $10 off your first purchase. Diamond Art Club has all kinds of coupons to help us out so we don't have to pay full price for a canvas. So look for those coupon codes. There'll be a QR code on your box, on your packing slip. Uh, there's a code on your canvas. They're everywhere, so please use them. On the back are two QR codes, one for an Apple, one for an Android, that take you to the Diamond Art Club app. Uh, the app is very helpful. I loved looking. Uh, they have the, the paintings categorized uh, in a very organized way so you can see them well. And um, on your first purchase from the app, whether you are a new customer or not, if you download the app and make a first purchase, you get 20% off your first purchase, which is a great savings. So go ahead and download that. All right, drills. 
Every bag of drills from DAC are labeled with the title of the painting. Uh, so in case you store your drill separately from the painting, you have the title to reunite your drills with your canvas when you're ready to diamond paint. Look at all those colors. If you are a nature lover in any way, shape, or form, this is the canvas for you. The other side, it doesn't show as well. There's too much plastic. I will take these out and show you the, these beautiful drills. But without further ado, let me get rid of all of this. You're ready to see this bad boy. And yes, Marlon will pan the canvas because it is huge. I'm gonna put the drills in my lap. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh my gosh. This is the reason why we had to do this on the dining room table. So the whole thing would lay flat for you. I wanted you to see everything about this canvas. It is stunning. It has everything I love about a Chuck Pinson painting all in one. You have got the glorious mountains in the back. You have the beautiful trees with the oranges. It looks like it's just, a, you know, well turning fall in this scene. You have geese in the water and uh, geese in the, or, no, these are eagles in the sky. <gasps> Ooh, that is awesome. And you can totally tell that's an eagle. Um, you have the deer are eating their ducks um, in, I don't, I'm thinking it's a lake or a pond. Not sure the difference between a lake and a pond. It is a body of water, let's say that. You have got waterfalls coming down into this beautiful body of water. I'll just say body of water so I don't mess it up. You have a rainbow. Look at this, a rainbow streaming down through these mountains. That is amazing. This is beautiful. And then you have, I wanna be in this cabin. Uh, Marlon and I go to Colorado. Uh, we try to go every other year. We haven't made it the past two years, but we go to a place called Glenwood Springs in Colorado, and it is just breathtaking. And every time we have to leave, I pout because I don't want to leave. And when you look off uh, the back of the house that we stay in, you can see these beautiful mountains in the background, and this is what that reminds me of. It's not, um, Glenwood Springs is on the Colorado River, but uh, the house that we stand is not on a body of water, but this is so reminiscent of those vacations and just looking out you know, on the back deck with our coffee in the morning, just looking at God's handiwork and um, this is it. So lots of things going on. Also in the bottom, you have a campfire with two chairs. Actually, no, these are two stumps. Anybody have a fire pit with stumps? Um, I've seen them, they're so fun. You sit on the stumps and you enjoy the nice fire. Uh, you also over here have a canoe uh, that's ready to go in that water. Um, I believe there's a fishing rod as well. Again, lots of detail, lots going on. You got some deer in the background over here, the beautiful rocks that that water's flowing over. This is stunning, guys, stunning. It's everything, like I said, it's everything you love about a Chuck Pinson. And I also, um, I do read social media comments uh, a lot just to, to get a feel for the community and, and what you're wanting. Several people asked for this image and Diamond Art Club delivered. Here it is, oh my gosh. I wanna thank Diamond Art Club also for sending this image to me to show you. It is absolutely beautiful. A little bit more about this canvas. It is scalloped and surged to prevent fraying. You've got your colors um, or your schematics on either side of the canvas, which helps if you're working on the left side. You've got one on the left and the right. Uh, it shows you all your colors and where to put them on this canvas, which is very nice. At the bottom, down at the bottom, uh, to the far right, you have 100% guarantee if anything goes wrong with this canvas, uh, Diamond Art Club will make it right. Their social media information is in the middle, middle of the bottom of this canvas. And also uh, to the left, you have a thumbnail uh, of the image, the title, the dimensions, and the artist. Uh, there's a little symbol before Chuck Pinson's name. That means Chuck Pinson and all of Diamond Art Club's artists are legally licensed, meaning Chuck Pinson has given permission for his work to be used on this diamond painting. 
and he is getting compensated, which is, should be very important to all of us. These artists do such amazing work and need to get compensated. Also, wanted to call your attention, uh, this is poured glue. Um, I, don't, I don't deal with anything other than poured glue anymore. Um, if you see what appears to be wrinkles or anything, that is just this plastic cover. Um, well, I've got the plastic cover peeled back. It's, again, very sticky canvas. I don't even know why I do that anymore. I keep saying that. Marlon, can you pan them into that beautiful drill field so they can know that I'm not telling them stories? Hang on, this is a big canvas. You can see that drill field is crystal clear. Um, you can see everything just beautifully. The symbols, um, once again, light symbols on darker colors, dark symbols on lighter colors. Uh, yes. The answer is yes, if you're wondering if there's gonna be a lot of confetti in this painting. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, there will be some opportunities for color blocking, um, but it's gonna be it's gonna be a confetti party. If you like confetti, this is this is your baby. But Chuck Pinson's typically have a lot of confetti, but you have to in order to get the detail, and this is a lot of detail in a painting. That's why it's bigger. Um, that's why it's probably square. Diamond Art Club wants you to have a wonderful diamond painting experience. So they're gonna get their canvases large enough so you can see the detail um, sometimes. Now it's exciting. They're offering canvases in square and round. Um, I think this one is gonna look phenomenal in square. The two Chuck Pinsons I have done, I have done the Bluebird Song and I have done Space for Reflection. They've both been round, so it will be fun for me to do one in square just to see the difference. All right, let me flip this over. At the end, Marlon will take the camera off of the tripod and go over this canvas so you can really see in detail what we're looking at here. I love the cabin with the lights in the window. You got the smoke coming out of the chimney. Oh, I just love this image. It's beautiful. Okay, sorry, I bumped you. All right, let's check out these drills i will not take 12 hours but you're going to want to see the colors so you can make lots of nature colors in here and you want to see those ab's and fairy dust diamonds so let's get to those all right we got lots of trains to georgia here all right we've got 841 are they able to see these yes okay one two bags of 839 Two bags of 840. You're going to have lots of taupes and tans. 898, 318, gray, 3861, 413, 3818. Three bags. You know you're going to have a lot of green for those trees. 3864, two bags, taupey. 739, 317, 666. I know those are going in the leaves of those trees. So beautiful. 415 and 3345. Next train to Georgia. We're not wasting any time here. I want to get to those ABs and fairy dust. All right, 33.45, 400, two bags of it, 613, 33.47, 976, 33.46, two bags of another color green. You're going to have that, all these different colors of green are going to add dimension in those trees. 844, 38.56, two bags of 414. All right, here we go. Ding, ding, ding. Ring the first AB bell. Kara! What is an AB drill? You've talked about fairy dust drills. What is an AB drill? AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It is a special coating put on these drills. It captures facets of light and color from the environment and the drills around it. And just make them all together now. Shim, shim, shimmy, shimmer. Just a little bit more. And I'm gonna hold this up so you can get that beautiful coating. You can compare it, uh, not the same color, but you can compare it to the bag of drills beside it. All of these drills are super shiny, but this coating just adds a little extra zing to these drills. And again, they're gonna add dimension to uh, the picture. And um, most of the time it highlights when light is hitting something or water, that type of thing. Anything that's gonna make things extra shiny. 817, 319, two bags and 938. All right. I haven't seen the fairy dust yet, but I bet we're getting to it. Okay, here we go. 813, two bags of 838. 301, two bags of it. 3772, 964, 300. 
38, 23, 37, 82, 498, 741. That's going to go in those trees. That's beautiful. All right. Ding, ding, ding. We have two, two fairy dust drill sightings right here. I'm going to flip this over. All right. These are different from AB drills. Um, they have been in a lot of Diamond Art Club's kits. But again, this is different from an AB coating. It's like, it's like when they poured the drills into the drill molds and they were still wet. They took a fine, fine, fine dusting of glitter and glittered the tops of these drills. Can we, did you get them in real, real close? All right. It's, a, it, it, it's not regular glitter, it's like really fine. Again, like fairy dust, they, they named them very appropriately. Here is a blue fairy dust, which is the Z3766. This is Z782. Okay, this is the one, guys, this is a fairy dust, but it is um, a brown caramely color uh, fairy dust diamond, which is gonna be really cool. I wonder where that goes, we'll figure that out. Okay, so those are two. We got one more fairy dust coming. 160, 648. All right, here you go. We asked, they delivered. This is your third fairy dust diamond, Z3855. It is going to be a cream color. I don't think I've worked with this fairy dust diamond either. Again, that fine, fine glitter coating on those drills. Okay, 947, 740, and 3064. All right, we're coming to the end. Last train to Georgia. Thanks for sticking with me. 977, 758, 743, 3371, 3778, 612, 738, 352. I think we have one more AB to find. 371, 902, 3771, 3808, and 3809. Very, very close colors. As you can see, though, one is darker than the other. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your last AB. I love 141. I love them. Uh, I love this color in particular because it captures, like it's by a blue drill. It's capturing the blue in the drill. It's capturing, the. this is like a minty green. I'm seeing minty green in here. It just picks up the colors, every color. It's like a rainbow effect on it. It's beautiful. And that is an AB. It's not a fairy dust. So yeah, you're going to get a lot of facets of color in that one. Beautiful. 772, 992, 135. Okay. I totally miscounted. I am so sorry. 135 is your last AB. That is that green color. There is not a lot of it. So I'll be interested to know where that one goes. Again, that is an AB drill, not a fairy dust. 762, 333 and 3835. Okay, so there are your drills. I didn't want to take 12 hours on them. I'm shoving them up here. I'm going to flip this bad boy over and we're going to take a look. Now, I need you guys to be patient with me because there is a lot of confetti in this canvas and it's a big one. So the symbols we are looking for for the A, B, not the fairy dust, A, B, are one, two, and a white background with a dot. So I'm gonna try to kind of find those all together. Your one is gonna be that uh, caramely color or the yellow, yellowish caramely color. It's gonna be in these trees. I'm seeing it, tree here, tree here. In your background, these are all flowers in those mountains. The ones are gonna be all sprinkled out through here and they appear to just be sprinkled. I don't see one big area with them. The one's gonna be in these trees. All right, one is obviously gonna be in the fire to really spotlight that fire. Little bit of one, uh, this is a reflection. I love when he does this in his paintings. I love the reflections in the water. When I did uh, Space for Reflection, um, I got to do some of this and it was amazing to see. Um, again, one's in the fire, one's down here. Um, I'm sure it's the glow of the fire on the ground. You're gonna get some one. Some ones highlighting here around the canoes. Um, did the deer get any love? A little bit of love for the deer. All right, you got a little bit of one in this deer. <laughs> And you do have some one. Um, this is very, very, um, 
Typical for a Chuck Pinson painting, they're gonna put some one in the glow from these windows because again, glows are sparkly. Also one sprinkled throughout wherever you see yellow in these trees. So you're gonna have a lot of yellow. All right, two is that green color. You're gonna have it again in these trees. You're gonna have it in the background here. More in the background in the greenery here. I'm looking here, looking, looking, any, I don't see any. There wasn't a lot of that green color in particular. Is there two over here? Nope, don't see any more. All right, moving on uh, to the 141, which is that beautiful white AB that captures so much. Um, and this is perfectly placed for this. You're gonna catch it in the glints of the snow in these mountains. That's where your 141 is gonna go. I'm surprised we don't have any in, we don't have any ABs in this rainbow. Doesn't mean you can't replace though. All right, back to 141. You've got some right here in these rocks. You've got some down here by the water. Let's see. Any in just the sky, sky, sky. I don't see any in the sky. So it's gonna be all sprinkled. Anywhere you see where the snow is capping these mountains, that's where you're gonna get your white and you're gonna get some right here in the waterfall, down here in the waterfall. I don't see any in the roof. I'm looking on the ground. That's where you're gonna have all of your white ABs, which is gonna be beautiful and really, you can see this is where the light's hitting that snow. So that's gonna naturally uh, need some extra pizzazz and sparkle. Okay, now for our fairy dust, we are looking for two symbols. We are looking for a down arrow on a background of light blue. And we're looking for a diagonal, what I call a diagonal lollipop on kind of a, I don't know, cream background. All right, so I'm looking for both of those symbols is it? Okay, so here is your Z3855. That is going to be that uh, khaki colored, the one that I said I'm not really used to working with or I haven't seen before. That is also gonna be in these mountains, all here, 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 in the tops of these mountains. They don't have snow, but they've got sun hitting them. Um, and you know when you look at mountains and the sun's hitting them and there, there are glints in the rock in mountains, so this would make total sense. So yeah, you're gonna have it all throughout here. You're going to have it all throughout here, all up here, 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 um, and it's in, it's in larger groups all up here in the sky. Kind of looks like the sun may be deciding it's gonna set in this, in this image. All of this is all your fairy dust. That is gonna be absolutely beautiful. It's really highlighting the sky. And you can tell the sky, you know, when the sun is about to set and the sky starts to turn colors, that's what you've got right here. So that's exciting. Or it could be the morning, I don't know. Um, when the sun is just coming up, I'm looking uh, for any more fairy dust diamonds. It appears to be really highlighting that sky. All right, and I am so sorry. There are three fairy dust diamonds, so we're not only looking, so I showed you where the diagonal lollipop is, that khaki color, or the cream color. You've got a downward arrow that's blue, and you also have the letter R. We've got three, I only uh, noted two. So let's look for this down arrow on the blue background. I'm wondering again, yep, it's gonna be up here in this sky, in the clouds. Um, if Marlin can really get you in close because there's a lot of blue color, but um, there are a couple of shades of blue and you can really see, let me lay it flat. You can see where those arrows are all in here. Ooh, there's a big, there's a bunch of them right up here at the top, a bunch. That, yep, a lot right in here. Uh, over here, a large bunch of them over here. This sky is going to sing. It is going to be absolutely stunning with all these ABs and fairy dust diamonds. So that is where your blue fairy dust diamonds are gonna be concentrated, is in this sky. 
I'm looking in the water just to check. I don't see any. All right, yeah. This is all to absolutely zing up this glorious sky and again some in these in these rocks and these mountains right here because snow sometimes appears to be blue and it sparkles. Wow. Okay, our last one is the one that I was like, gee, I am really not used to this fairy dust color. Uh, it's a brownish color. That is gonna go in the leaves of these trees. Oh my gosh, guys, they have accented this painting so, so well. All right, so you're gonna not only get a bees in these trees, you're gonna get fairy dust, so you're gonna get a, a lot of pop and a little pop, but they're gonna complement each other so well. So there are ours in here. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. I love it, all in these trees, ours, all in these trees, just beautiful. Um, I don't see any down here. Yes, okay, so there are ours in the ground down here where the fire is reflecting on the ground. You're gonna get some R. Oh, and this deer got some love. There's some R's in the, um, the fur of the deer. So it's in uh, kind of highlighting um, the deer. That's awesome. So the deer's got some love, yay. Let's see, oh, also uh, to accent the windows in this window of this cabin and all along the railing of this cabin are those R fairy dust diamonds. That, yeah, oh my gosh. This is so well done as far as the placement of these ABs and fairy dust diamonds. I am excited. <gasps> oh, it's exciting to get to do this and show you and get to see it first. All right, I'm gonna shut up now. And uh, now that you know about the placement of the fairy dust diamonds and the AB diamonds, I'm gonna let Marlon take you over this canvas one last time so you can see all of its glory got the mountains, you have the eagles. It's evident those are eagles in the sky, the rainbow, the waterfall, I mean, just the beautiful mountains, the trees. Love this cabin. And I love that the cabin is kind of set on an inlet so you can really see the beauty of this scene as a whole. If you love nature, if you love the mountains, if you love Chuck Pinson, here we go. I mean, love that there's a little campfire down here and the canoes ready to go. I, I love everything about this. And if you're a deer lover, here we go. I mean, this would be a perfect piece for a living room, a man's office, a dining room. I have a Chuck Pinson in my dining room. I mean, these are just absolutely beautiful accent pieces to put in your home. And this is more than an accent piece. This would be a centerpiece to put in your home. I love this. And I love the placement. The rendering is perfection and the placement of these fairy dust and AB, AB diamonds are amazing. All right, guys, that's what I've got for you. I hope you have a happy shopping experience. Speaking of shopping experiences, these go on sale tomorrow, Saturday, at nine o'clock Pacific and 12 o'clock Eastern for Diamond and Ruby members. Those are tiers at Diamond Art Club uh, that you get to for making a specific number of purchases. So you get a 30 minute jump on this sale. Um, you will get an email or a text taking you to uh, that particular sale. If you are general population, they haven't forgotten about you either because they do hold some stock back. So if these run out in the Diamond and Ruby grab, you will be able to have a chance. I think this will sell out quick. I mean, the Chuck Pinson and the anniversary sale sold out really quick. But 30 minutes later at 9.30 Pacific, 11.30 uh, Central, 12.30 Eastern, these will go on sale for general population. And again, um, everyone will have an opportunity to grab one of these beauties. I love it. I think this is gonna go fast, so get your fingers ready and make them work tomorrow uh, if you want this beautiful piece. All right, that is what I've got for you. Thank you again, Diamond Art Club, for sending this beautiful piece out to me. Uh, I cannot wait to work it up, and um, I will leave you with this. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off.